Hey YouTube, it's Kesmir, and I'm back with Firewatch. We gotta get to the firefighters. See where we left off last time. We get to the scout camp south of Ruby River here. We're almost to Cripple Gulch. It's not my hill. I think this is to the girls camp yeah five mile creeks down there here we go hey I called around things seem normal with everyone else should we call the cops or the forest service and and let them know this is going on um don't you think that would sound you know crazy yeah it is crazy we have to tell someone Tell them what, Henry? Tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? I don't know. Tell them we're being bothered or something. Um. Henry, I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never going to let me come back out here. Do you understand that? All right. I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Did he steal his clipboard back? Hey, what you just said keep my radio close to me yeah before i got attacked back at the lake i saw a radio on the ground kind of like the one i use and do you think that maybe someone was you know uh i don't know what maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something henry it's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. You said we have no evidence. Unless he, unless whoever hit me, I don't know if it's a he or a she. Unless whoever hit me took the, the clipboard I just found. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. We have like we have proof. Vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the Goodwins. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. So there's got to be a path down here if we head south. Yeah, my point was, un unless, unless he jacked that clipboard from me, he probably did. I don't know. Is there an inventory? There is. Oh, maybe I don't have it. Maybe, okay. So I guess we don't have proof then. We don't have any proof. We're psycho. We'll get down to the bottom of this. Ooh, this looks safe. These wouldn't be slippery at all. Wonder what the code is. Let's see, another map to copy. Note, what's this one say? Ron, really wish the powers that be could leave us ra radios that didn't suck. <laughs> a 
Most of the time I prefer to keep things pen and paper, but every once in a while it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter way through this bottle of buys in instead. Miss ya, Dave. Oh, Ron and Dave, they love each other. Ooh, toilet paper? Heck yeah. Can't keep it, so... Some books. Nothing else good in there, it looks like. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks, now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. That's nice Let's of them. See. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. Okay. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. What's this? Someone out here snowmobiling. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. <laughs> uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. Pork Pond. What a sign that says Pork Pond. Camp Arapaho. Arapaho. Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware of weebelows in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Not much of a camp if they can't even maintain the main bridge in. This is their camp? Goodness. You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. I mean, he, he wasn't a scout or a weeble or whatever? Since that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. What the hell's a clove hitch? Ah, uh, well, it's a knot that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. You use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. Hmm. You know how to tie one? Heck no. I'd make a weeblow do it. Yeah. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblows. For the past 35 years, yeah. Mitch, Mitko.
if that's the person who's out here. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. This is like the worst camp I have ever seen. I would not want to be a scout going here. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Could use it to pop open beers. Wow, um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. And I'm holding it. Maybe drop it? Yuck. Gross. What's this say? Hmm. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Oh, you know, probably just horned toads. Maybe your turtle was an escapee. And a Wapiti Station clipboard with our conversations on it is just... What, recreation for them? I'm just messing around. Somebody is obviously up to something. Don't you bring Bucket here. Jr. into this. At least we know there is something real happening behind that fence. I think that we should consider that maybe this is all just a coincidence, but my gut says that there is something bad going on. Mine too. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and... Keep an eye out for anyone following you. You can chop things now. So... I was gonna have to head all the way back up to the gate now, huh? Oh, goodness. I can, can I make bridges? I did it. I made a bridge. Heck yeah. Alright. I think this is a good spot to stop on the way back up to Wapiti Station. So, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.